Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to explain a little bit more about this ground issue I was having. Well, it was grounded from the battery here, the battery cable, to the little bolt down there. I don't, but it wasn't a good ground, and it had burnt the cables up. They were just colored in a different color. You see how it's that copper color? It wasn't that color, and they were melted together, and they actually looked white. You know what I mean? Or uh, and I stripped this insulation off, and in the middle of the insulation was black. So um, I couldn't see that down here, but I visually looked at it and didn't pull it off and check it. And that's probably my bad. <clears throat> now look, these motors need, this is one ground to chassis. Now I can ground this to chassis, or this can go to motor. Now we are missing something here. I was doing a little inspection and noticed this two weeks ago. There's no ground strap on the motor. It's supposed to be down there. There's no ground strap. It has been pulled when they swapped the motor and they didn't put a strap from chassis to motor. Now I'm gonna show you, you're gonna look at the cable on this car and look to the left of the cable. You see right here is the cable. Well, that little, that little thing right there. Let's see if I can snake my hand down there. That little, this right here. That's the ground strap that goes under the header. This one has some kind of plastic coating on it. It's just not a metal one like Fox bodies. But that there is the ground strap. See the other car didn't have that. See it on, up under the header there, way up under there. That's the strap. Sorry to repeat myself. So now I have to get an engine to chassis ground strap. Now let me explain one more thing. When you're running a 3G alternator, this is a 200 amp alt. But even if you're running a 130, you always want a half four gauge um, wire or either zero gauge if you can got the funds and it works out but at least a bare minimum of four gauge because this is your power stuff so I'm gonna be changing that's four gauge there I'm gonna update that and my chassis ground is gonna be four gauge and I'm gonna make sure I get a really good connection and a good connection to the body when I do that so I'm hoping to have more updates with this I want to show you real quick before I conclude the video. I've got the car pretty much like wow, torn apart all the way to the computer there. The dash is almost all I got to do is lift it and pull it out. But I wanted to try to fix this before I pulled the dash. So we'll see. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, but it points out to that that's the problem. I haven't been able to test it, but. We'll see later on today or when I start getting this thing pieced back together, but I don't see any breaks anywhere else. So as always, like, subscribe, and share, and keep on dreaming.